going on YouTube, you know what I'm saying? It's your boy Jamal. I already know y'all clicked on this video, you know what I'm saying? I want to get your head like this. Alright, so first you're going to need, you know what I'm saying? You're going to need a sponge of some sort. Or anything that can twist your hair. Anything that can twist your hair. So, this is how you start your dress. I mean, there's different ways. Um, I, use, I use this for maybe... Uh, it's maybe about a month or two, and then I switched to the towel because the towel that's what kind of got these basically. So, um, that's basically all you do. You know I mean? The steps is very simple to maintain it, is really the tough part. But other than that, you know, what I'm saying it's, it's kind of simple, so it's basically just keep your head happy as possible. Um, and that's basically all you gotta do, and um. At the, in the beginning stages, do not wash your hair. Um, don't wash it, and obviously don't comb it. Does no fuck. Now, don't comb the ends. If you got, depending on how long your hair is at the time, you want to just like lift up the, the uh, lift up the roots. That's it. All right. So next thing, uh, you want to bend your hair. This is a great way to help your hair grow. Um, I just took mine out today. I had some in here. Um, it's a great way to stretch your hair to help it grow. Obviously, the longer you leave it in, you know what I'm saying, the, the better it's going to look and the faster it's going to grow. And um, you can do this however to your liking. You know what I'm saying? You can style it however you want to. Um, if you're in the beginning stages, I advise you to use that. You know what I'm saying? It's going to help form your dress. It's going to keep it the same. Because sometimes when you first start now, your hair going to be curly. So, like, my hair used to unravel. Like, like if I didn't, like, let it get nappy enough, it will like, unravel. Like, if I wet it too early, it will unravel. Like, it will turn back into, like, a curl. And you don't want that unless, depending on how you want your, your jumps to look. You know what I'm saying? But, um, but yeah, you just put those in at night you can do them any day anytime you want to you know what I'm saying just make sure at the roots that you make it tight so that it's really pulling them in, you know what I'm saying you don't want it too loose because if it's loose there's no point you gotta have some some tension on it so you can help it grow you know what I'm saying all right so now I got some oils now I advise you to use this no matter how long your hair is oils is a great way to stimulate your hair growth you know what i'm saying so the first one i showed you guys in my last video this is jamaican black castor oil this is very good for your hair you know what i'm saying you only you only just apply a little bit and everything it'll tell you how to do it and everything i think i was gonna say you can use it as a hot oil treatment but you won't really need to do that because it just just don't worry about it and then um i got this right here that I use sometimes, but it got the same thing in castor oil. So you can use argan oil, um, coconut oil, anything. Just read it. You know what I'm saying? Make sure that it helps stimulate your hair growth. You know what I'm saying? And then it's straight. Um, I would rather you guys use oils than like Cantu products or like any type of like leave in conditioners. Not saying that you can't because you definitely can because I used to. Um, on my first free form journey I used to a lot but I noticed that it makes your hair soft especially if you already have soft hair like me or like hair that's like it's hard to lock up you know what I'm saying you want to stay away from it and try to keep your hair as dry as possible so yeah so basically the routine is when you wake up you want to you know what I'm saying Put the rubber bands in your hair, or you no, know, so you want to sleep. Put the rubber bands in, and make sure your hair. You don't have to section your hair to where you. Now you're getting your hair did, and they make a deep ass part. You don't got to do that, but as long as you can like, as long as you like, you can separate it so where you can put the oil in, because it'll be a lot better than to just like randomly put it in. Unless you got short hair, but like for me, it's better if I part my hair. So like, make sure you just like you just part it, whatever, and then you just fill the little little cracks and stuff. But 
you know, so other than that, that's really how you get free form goods. Um, it is going to take time, especially if your hair is short. It's going to take a long time. Um, but it can go, it can be faster depending on, you know, how well you maintain it. You know what I'm saying? If you own your shit, it's going to be quick. And sometimes in the beginning, when you leave it alone, your hair develops a lot more faster than somebody that always mess with the hair. So all you got to do is just use a sponge, use a towel or whatever you use. And then you put them in the little things so that it don't like unravel, keep them napped up together. And then um, you put the oil in your hair, help it grow, and stay in, from stay from water. Now, obviously, if you stay in Florida or you stay in places where it's high humidity, your hair is gonna get a little bit of wet, a little bit wet. But try to minimize it. Try to not get it. Just don't get it soaked. I I keep people keep saying wet. You can get your hair wet. Don't get it soaked. Don't have your shit soaked to where you have to. You have to like really real deal dry it and it's gonna strengthen your hair because really when you get dreads free from dreads you can you can wash your hair because it helps your hair a lot faster the only difference is that you want your hair to you want to keep your same length when you wash your hair and you wet it it's gonna shrink your hair so that's basically it but everything else you do that and you'll be straight so now i'm gonna show you guys my hair and see how i look you know what i'm saying just basically Basically how I look. Um, I'm in my sixth month on this journey. You know what I'm if you guys watch my old, old videos from like a year ago, I told you guys that this is like my, say my third. Because the first time I had free form dreads um, was my 11th grade year. And then I decided to comb my hair off when it was dry and I lost a whole bunch of hair. So like the hair in the middle is not as long. But this used to be like my longest area. But you know what I'm saying? And then uh, last year I crocheted my hair, which I don't know why I did, but I did it. And now uh, I took comb those out and now I'm on another journey. So this is six months. If you guys look at that very first video. After I comb my hair out, you'll see that you'll see that my hair came a long way. With just uh, forming wise, it didn't get as much longer. It grew uh, definitely, but um, how it looks compared to that day, way different. And last, well, I think it was yeah, last video is this dread right here. It's like thin, like it can't possibly fall out depending. If I, cause I, I like to pick my hair, I like to like lift it up a lot, so it's real thin right there. I don't know why that's like the only one, but I like two strand twists though sometimes. But other than that, that's how my hair look. All right, that is it for this video. You know what I'm saying? If you guys have any questions, anything you wanna ask me, comment down below in the comment section. Like the video and subscribe. You know what I'm saying? We're on the road to uh, 2K. I almost said 1K. You know, so I've been saying so long, but. On the road to 2K, you know what I'm saying? You guys can follow me on IG. Um, I have Snapchat, but I really don't really use Snapchat. I'm really Instagram guy and YouTube. So, you know what I'm saying? Y'all can just hit me up in the comment section, like I said, or, you know what I'm saying? Follow me and stuff like that. And, um, yeah, stay tuned for more. Um, more head videos, other type of videos I got coming out soon. So, um, stay tuned, and I'll see y'all next video.